Hi everyone, it's me. I'm back. Pardon the quality of the video. I'm shooting this from my phone. So, maybe, you know, you have some type of malicious entity or some unexplained activity in your house and you want it removed. I can help you. If you guys are of a different faith or maybe you have a, a different religious denomination, I can respect that. But here I have a seven-day candle of Archangel St. Michael with seven candles around him. And I am actually working a spell right now to... Well, this is, really isn't a spell. This is actually more of just calling in St. Michael. And I'm doing prayer work to help um, call him in and release some of the... Um, actually, or to... I wouldn't even say release, I would say more like to um, banish any evil spirits, any type of negative entities or energy that is in this house. Um, and for those of you who are like, well, you know, I would really love this work done, I am more than happy to help. Uh, my prices are very reasonable. And for anyone who's like, well, I, I can't even afford that, you know, and I, I, I would like to do this on my own. You can do this, and however, really important, you guys, for anyone who's watching, two things I want to get on. One, always cleanse your candle before using it. That means whatever what, whatever shop you bought your seven-day candle at, I don't even care if you ordered it, ordered it online, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you always want to take some Florida water and you want to cleanse it, all right? That will take off all the energy that it might have picked up, and that way you can have a clear foundation for your spell. Because if it already has someone else's energy or some other type of energy on it, it might interfere with your work, your prayer work, your spiritual work, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. The next thing is, is for anyone who wants to make their spell personal to them, um, you don't have to, um, or maybe you want to do this for a family member, or maybe at their house. I would actually attach a picture of their house to the back of this seven-day candle, and I would even maybe um, include the person's name and date of birth if I could, and then just like a little petition basically saying, this is what I want done. And then I would even go as far as reading it out loud and maybe praying over it, you know, for the next several days. All right, you guys. Um, that pretty much concludes this video. I hope that you found this helpful and effective. Um, please feel free to reach out, leave a YouTube comment, and tell me what you think. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.